fashion experts have tasked African government and the private sector to help build the capacity of youth by leveraging on the benefits of fashion and arts. The experts made this known at a press conference in Abuja, where organizers of the second edition of the African Fashion and Arts Awards say fashion and arts can help solve Africa's unemployment challenge. A correspondent, Edidion Apanuku, reports. The African Industry and Art Awards 2022 is expected to host the biggest and brightest minds from the industry in Africa. As the second largest sector in the developing world after agriculture, the fashion, textile and clothing industry has the potential to transform lives, particularly for women and youth. The CEO of the African Fashion and Art Award, Kingsley Amaku, while addressing newsmen in Abuja, urge government and stakeholders to leverage on the abundant potentials available in the fashion and art industry. Amako says the industry has provided a lot of opportunities to African youth and could do more with more investments. Our major aim is to look at the inherent talent in fashion and arts in Nigeria and Africa and to see how we can harness that and make sure we use it to improve trade and Africa of course, African intra-business relationship. One of the ways we intend to do this is by first of all setting up a masterclass, which is a session that can help improve the skills on fashion and arts for our various entrepreneurs. We're trying to say that we're encouraging people to get into this sector. Africa has about 1.5 billion persons and out of this number, about 25 or 35 percent of them are adults, older than 35. The rest, 70 percent, are persons who are between the ages of 15 to 35 years, which means Africa is made up of about 70 percent of youths. Now, every investment, every business, every venture that is geared towards the development of youth in Africa is the right way to go. And we're saying fashion and art is that sector that is very viable, that can create job opportunities, that can create employment, that can help economic development for nations in Africa. And this is one of the ways we are helping achieve this. The fashion and art industry generates over $40 billion annually. And it tells you how viable the industry is. An industry that has 70% of its population as youth, if you invest in them, it will triple our GDP. The government should look into these places and invest in them, develop them, encourage them. And our assurance, which we've seen based on research, is it will definitely triple our economic development, it will create jobs, it will help reduce crime and youth restiveness. When you've trained these individuals, you need to have a marketplace for them to relate, network, and of course exhibit or sell that which they've produced. So at African Fashion and Art Award 2002 edition, we have a marketplace called the Vendor Fair. This Vendor Fair is an avenue for people to network, make sales, and of course make ends meet as well. Also speaking at the event, the marketing manager of Jabi Lake Mall, Oparinde Abiola says, the mall has remained a key player in providing a platform for businesses to thrive. He adds that the fashion industry can provide numerous opportunities for youth to learn skills and earn a living. We pride ourselves as a destination place, destination shopping mall. When young people come here, we want them to be able to know that we're not just here about businesses, we also hear about everything that helps to empower our young people every support that we can give to organizations, to businesses, to help them thrive. And this has remained one of our cardinal points in giving back to the society. We very much welcome them and I'm sure from what you have seen, over 40 young persons are part of this uh, today's fashion pop-up show. It shows that 40 people here alone, 40 young people, have the opportunity to earn something for themselves. And beyond that, it's also opening up the space to say to other young people that you can do stuff, great, wonderful stuff with your talents. Either as a producer in the fashion food chain, or as a model, or 
as a social media person who gets to pass this information to every other person so that they can come in and be part of this. Edidion Apanuko, reporting for Development Nigeria TV.